Hello everyone, this is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel, I hope you will like what you see. Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a cornrow. Creating the cornrows is very easy after you learn how to hold the strands. First, I will part my hair for the cornrows. I start by taking a rectangle from the side and then I put the rest of my hair back to the ponytail so it won't be on my way. After that, I will part this rectangle in three equal sections. If you struggle to create these partings neatly enough, try to use water for your hair before starting. Then the most smallest hair sections are easier to handle. Then I will tie these two sections below with an elastic and start braiding with the topmost piece. And before I start the braiding, I wet my hair totally. That makes the braiding much more easier. Start by taking tiny piece of hair from the front. Separate the section in three equal pieces. Then start to braid a Dutch braid by bringing hair alternately under the middle one. And the most important thing with these cornrows is that you need to hold the strand you're moving with two fingers like this. The strand you're moving at the time must be super tight, otherwise the braid will be loose. And when you add hair, I suggest you to bring the hair strand under to the middle first and then add hair. That's how the strand you add goes directly inside the braid. And I think that's the much more easier way to make the braid tight. Bring the hair strand again from the side under to the middle and add hair. Make sure that strand you're moving is very tightly between your fingers. Many think that corners are hard to do as you need to hold all the strands super tight but as you can see, it's not in that way at all. As you can see, some of the hair strands are very loose while I prayed. You just need to know which one you can keep looser and which one you need to keep tight. The way how you should keep the strands tight is very personal and there's many as well ways to do it. I personally do it kind of two different ways. I personally hold the strands with my right hand between my forefinger and thumb, but with the left hand I hold the strands between my middle finger and thumb. I don't know why is that, but I suggest you to try which position is great for you. Keep on braiding like this until you're braided the whole open section inside this braid. Please notice that under this video, on the description, you can always find more tips and advices how to make your braids better. This time I also add a short list about the most common mistakes with these braids. So if you have any troubles, please check out the list you might find the solution for your problem. Now the first braid is ready and I start with the second one. Before starting, I wet my hair totally to get more tighter braids. Take a small piece of hair and separate it in three equal sections. Then start to braid a dot braid by bringing hair alternately under the middle one. After a few stitches, start to add hair to the braid. Add hair from the both sides of the braid. Again, notice that you hold the strands between your fingers. That's the best way to keep strands tight. Remember that you don't need to keep all the strands tight. 
Important is that you hold the strand you're moving at the time very tight, others won't be necessary. If you try the cornrows at the first time, notice that the more smaller your strands are, the more harder they are to hold. So if you struggle at the beginning, try a little bit more bigger strands so you can learn the right technique. And when you do the three strand braids, I suggest you to move the strand from the side under to the middle before adding hair. When you add hair after moving the strand, you can move the added hair right inside the braid and make sure that the strand you added is tight. Keep on braiding until you braided the whole section to this braid. Then I start to braid the third and the last braid, beginning again by using water on your hair. Then take a small piece of hair and separate it in three sections. Braid exactly like you did before. Bring the strands from side under to the middle. Add hair from the both sides. And the most important thing is that you make sure that you keep the strand you're moving at the time very tightly between your fingers. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you again. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Today, guess who's learning how to braid? You're doing it, and I believe in you. I know braiding can be a little bit stressful, but it's not gonna be like that today, I promise you, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to do the regular three-strand braid. Then we're gonna move on to something that's a little bit more difficult, which is the French braid. <gasps> um, Honestly, it's not hard. I feel so confident that you're gonna be like, Brad, this was so easy, like after this video. Once you learn the fundamentals and basics of braiding, and now let's get into the basics of braiding. Let's do it. Hi guys. We have Miss Betty Quinn here to help me. It doesn't feel right when she's down here. I love you. You will forever be my lover. Okay, so we are doing the basic three strand braid. So to do this on yourself for the first time or like just learning how to do this, maybe you do purchase a mannequin. Honestly, you can get really cheap ones that are synthetic hair. Um, I will link below for you. But also I would just separate your hair into two sections and braid it forward like that and like that. So two little pigtails on each side and that's how you can practice. That's probably the easiest way to practice something like this. So I sectioned your hair into a little, you know, half up moment just because it was easier for me to work with this much hair. We're gonna keep this so 
simple for you. We're gonna keep this so bland and like so good and just so like ugh, no strings attached type of vibes. You know what I mean? We're just gonna separate into three strands. I've seen videos of people being like, let's separate into three strands like this. Like just separate it. Get on with the show, okay? You can do it. I believe in you. Cool. We have three strands now. Awesome. And I'll of course be using my BDSM balm because this stuff will give you so much shine and a beautiful amount of flexible holds to keep your style in place. And it gets all these little flyaways down as you braid and it makes your braid look really clean and perfect. I'll be using this just on my fingertips just to get the braid going. That way everything looks beautiful and perfect and shiny. We got our three strands here. Make sure they're all nice and even, do your best. And now take a deep breath with me. Let's do a little meditation real quick. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Beautiful. Now we're ready to braid. Every time you braid, I want you to do that for me. I want you to breathe. I want you to get centered with your thoughts, okay? And have patience. You may not become an amazing braider overnight. That's just the reality of it all. What we're gonna do, obviously we have a center piece, two side pieces, and that is all we have. All you have to know in order to braid is side over center. Repeat it with me, side over center. What we're gonna do is put the side, <laughs> this side, over the center. You see what I just did there? We're gonna do the same thing again on the other side. Side over center. And you see how the center pieces change every time? It's gonna be important that you keep your hand placement showing which ones are the side and which one is the center. Do whatever feels comfortable to you. This is how I hold it. One hand holds two of the strands and the other holds one. And you just put side over center and that is how you braid. You see that braid forming? Okay, cool. The closer you keep your hands to the braid, see how my thumb is on the braid, the tighter the braid will be. Side over center, side over center. Now your braid at first will not be as tight as mine. This is definitely more of a pro version. It is totally okay to have a really saggy braid the first time. Don't get frustrated. Just work on holding the strands tighter and closer to the base of the braid. So side over center, side over center, side over center, side over center. You be a speed braider and you can speed braid. How simple was that? I know you can do this and I know you're doing it right now and I'm so proud of you. Great job, great work. You are amazing. Congratulations, you can braid now. And if by chance you don't know how to braid yet and you're not doing it quite right, rewind, do it again and just keep practicing until you get it and then move on to the next step, which is the French braid. Again, these are the basics of braiding. I'm not gonna go deep into it. I want to keep this very simple, short and sweet because the more you explain these things, the more complex they get in your head. And I'm not trying to trip you out with too much information, just enough to get you by on that first attempt at braiding and to learn how to braid for the first time. Great job, you guys. I know all of you guys out there are getting it and I'm so happy. You're gonna always remember my jingle. Side over center. Ah, 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 g -g 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 -g. That's how you braid and you did it. Congratulations. How have you done that? I'm sure a lot of you guys came. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys came to learn how to do a French braid. I'm gonna take all this out. I'm gonna section her hair into four quadrants and you should do the same to your hair. And if you don't know what four quadrants looks like, I will show you in a second how to do that. You're gonna part down the center of your head. Mm, is that the center? Mm, I hate center parting because it's just scary. It's like, is that a center? I don't know. Good enough for me. All right, we did that. We did that. Good job. If there's one thing you can do right today, I know for a fact it's the center part. So, well, actually, maybe not even that. So now you're gonna go from the apex of the head, which is the high point. You can lay a comb on the head and see where the comb comes off of the head. So right about here and bring it to behind the ear. Honestly, just make four quadrants on the head. They do not need to be perfect like what I'm doing. Just get it done. Okay, sounds good. All right, good. And we have our four quadrants. Voila. This is what they should look like. Now we will begin on one side of the head of your choice. These are our practice sections and we're going to keep it really simple at first. We're just sectioning off a big piece at the top like this and making sure you have no knots in the hair before you start or else you just want to have a panic attack while you're braiding and get so annoyed and then drop everything and just cry. Make sure it's not 
naughty. We're gonna do the same thing we did before with the three strand braid and following along with that side over center bit we did before. And the only thing guys that we're changing about this is that we're adding a piece of hair on to each side strand. So we'll add a little something into our side over center song, which is pick up side center. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is do side over center side over center, and that's just two times to start, okay? There you go, you got that little tiny braid right there. Now, you do a pick up, pick up, and then that's added to the side, which then gets added, what? Side over center, okay? So again, that is pick up, add to the side, and then side, over center. Pick up, add to the side, and side goes over the center. So pick up, add to the side, side goes over the center, and we continue. And that is the pattern. So pick up, onto the side, side goes over center. Pick up, side, side goes over center. Pick up, side, side, goes over center. And we'll just go all the way down because why not? Pick up side, side over center. That wasn't the prettiest braid I've ever done, but I was trying to explain while I was doing it. So don't come for me. Okay, at this point, your head should look something like this. I find that this way, going horizontally down your head is a lot easier to learn before you then do the French braid going back. It is the same exact technique, but getting your hand placement right before doing that French braid going back is a lot easier than starting off with that kind of complicated, like backwards on your head braid. So I'm gonna quickly show you on the other side of the head how to do that exact braid one more time. All right, we're starting off with our three strand braid. We are doing once side over center. That is how you start the braid. And then we are going to do what? We're gonna do pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up, then what do we do? We do side, over, center. And now we're towards the bottom of the head. So pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up, side, side, over, center. Pick up, side, side, over, center. That's how you do it. Yeah, get into it. So these are our two braids we just practiced together and our little song went pick up side over center, pick up side over center, pick up side over center. So keep practicing on each side of your head. You can undo your braids, do them again, undo them, do them again. It's just so much easier to practice on a horizontal like we did and you will continue to get better and better at this as time goes on. Your braids may not look as tight as mine or as good. That is totally fine. Yours can be all saggy and nasty or whatever, but at least you're getting the basics of what we're trying to do and over time, you'll get better. I promise you, stick with it. You're gonna be the best braider in town, baby. And I know that for a fact. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys live your best extra braided life and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.